in this video we will discuss the problem fraction trouble the problem says that we have to consider the set of irreducible functions uh, fractions that is uh, the fraction is given by this thing that a fraction has what a fraction has a numerator like a fraction has numerator denominator thing and then it says that the numerator is always going to be lesser than the denominator in this case and they are also saying that the denominator is lesser than uh, like the denominator is less equal to 10 to the power 4 so these are the constraints that you have been given and they are saying that these types of fraction they will be considering but one more thing has been given to you that uh, the gcd of uh, the numerator the greatest common divisor of the numerator uh, comma denominator will be nothing but it will be equal to 1 so this is also also something that has been given to you now in that case what kind of uh, fractions can you say so for this type of definition you can say that a fraction will be let's say 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 let's say 2 comma 5 so these kind of fractions will be considered there where the numerator is lesser equal to the denominator the denominator is lesser equal to 10 to the power 4 and the gcd uh, of the numerator and the denominator is equal to 1 uh, another case that you could consider is let's say 3 comma 5 so there can be various uh, cases that uh, various fractions that you can consider so now let us read the problem statement further it is saying that uh, you are given a member you are given a member of this set and your task is to find the largest fraction in this set less than the given fraction you have to find the largest fraction in the set which is less than the given fraction now what do we mean by that we have to find the largest fraction in the in the set that is less than the given fraction so let us say that the given let's say we have been given n is equal to 1 and d is equal to 4 so in that case the fraction will be 1 comma 4 and its value will be what it will its value will be 0 0.25 so here what we have to do is we have to find a fraction for us we have to basically find a fraction for us in such a way that uh, that the fraction that we find uh, is uh, uh, is considering these cases like it should consider these conditions that the numerator of that fraction should be less or equal to the denominator the denominator should be less or equal to 10 to the power 4 and the gcd should be nothing but 1 so what we can do here is like we you will say that uh, maybe what we can do is uh, let's say let's say if, if instead of this if some fraction came out to be like if this came out to be 0 0.25 so you will say that since uh, let's say we have to find the largest so we can say that we will take this and maybe we instead of this place what we can write is uh, we can write it like this 2499 maybe you can say that this can work here but this will like this is 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 this actually the largest no it will not be the largest they can be they can be more possible cases right because uh, like one more thing that you have to consider is that the gcd gcd of the numerator and the denominator that you take should be one so will this be the case here no this will not be the case because basically instead of this what you can do is instead of taking this one what you can do is you can take the fraction as 2499 and divided by 9 9 9 and 7 if you take this fraction so its uh, fraction will come out to be 2.499 7 4 okay and like why is this fraction better because uh, this fraction is not only abiding by the condition that uh, it is lesser than this but also it is the largest why it is the largest you will say that you could have taken other fractions as well but uh, it, like in that case what would have happened is the gcd of the numerator and the denominator that you are taking should be equal to one so that is also one of the things that you have to always keep on considering so let us try and uh, see the next example as well so in this case what you can uh, understand is if we talk about the next example so n is equal to 2 and the denominator is this so n is equal to 2 and denominator is equal to 4 okay so let's say let's say you have been given the cases like this so how can we try to make it so basically what we can say is that we will always try to make the largest fraction you can understand that we will always try to make the largest fraction since we are always trying to make the largest fraction so what we should do so we can say that we will find a pair p p by q such that the p by q thing is greater or equal to is greater or equal to the numerator divided by the denominator okay this is one thing that we always need to consider now how can we do this thing so basically for this for doing this what we can do is we have to understand that every time we'll be considering uh, all the pairs p comma q such so that they are just greater or equal to the numerator by denominator okay so how will you do this so like will you compare it like this no you will say that p into denominator is greater or equal to numerator into q because sometimes what can happen is in terms of the denominators the calculation can go wrong okay so that is why now the next thing here is that what we will do for q so for the denominator part for the denominator part we will say that for q starts from 10 to the power 4 that is from the behind because we want to find the largest fraction okay so whichever is the largest possible we will try to store it so q is like greater equal to 2 and q minus minus why q is greater equal to 2 because uh, if q is equal to suppose 1 in that case we will have the pairs 1 0 and 1 1 so we will uh, consider them in the starting only okay 
and if the fraction is 1 1 then uh, there is going to be no other fraction that will be having value greater okay so that's why so let's try and implement the code for this and see what we can do here so we will have the numerator initially initialized as 0 and we'll have the denominator initially initialized as 1 then what we will be doing is we'll be saying that for int q starts from uh, 10 to the power 4 that is we start from behind and q is greater or equal to 2 okay and then i can do q minus minus after i have done this thing so what i will do is i will say that if it uh, like i will first of all find p so p will be nothing but since the numerator should be uh, one lesser than the denominator okay so i'll i'll try to find uh, like since i'm taking uh, q, uh, q every time so i'll try to use this formula that is nothing but uh, for this series uh, for this kind of uh, equations that uh, q into uh, n into q minus 1 divided by d okay so basically the given denominator that is there we will divide our uh, numerator by that okay we are taking p as the numerator okay then we will consider for every case so as i mentioned we will check p into the denominator if it's greater or equal to the q into numerator if this is the case so in that case what we should do if this is the case in that case we will say that our denominator is equal to nothing but q and the numerator will become nothing as p okay so this is how we'll be updating it and as i said in the end we have to consider for the gcd part as well so since we are taking them like since we are taking them like that so we need to divide them by the gcd as well okay because we don't we don't want to return uh, we don't want to return fractions in such a way uh, such that their gcd are greater than one right uh, suppose suppose that uh, suppose that by instance what you do is you find a, a fraction two and four right you find the numerator as two and the denominator for you is nothing but four so in that case what will be the fraction the fraction should be one comma two only right one like one by two okay so that's why what you will do is you, in the end when you find it so you will have the gcd of two and four and you let's say the gcd is coming out to be two okay so in that case you will divide the numerator by two and the denominator by two as well so this will become one and this value will become two so i'm giving you an example suppose the suppose you get two comma four two and four so in that case you will not directly uh, write that because you need to uh, you need to have the gcd of the fractions as one so that's why when you take gcd of one and two it will be one so this is this is the kind of case that you have to consider for these problems okay now in this case uh, as i mentioned so you will have the gcd gcd is equal to underscore underscore gcd of what numerator and the denominator and then once i've completed it so what i will say is i need to return the final answer in terms of a vector i'll say that answer dot uh, pushback answer dot pushback numerator divided by the gcd so that's how i'm storing the numerator and i'll say that answer dot pushback dot denominator divided by the gcd okay this is what i will be doing and i think that in the end i should return this vector that stores the numerator and the denominator so i should return this answer let us try and compile this code so you can see we are getting the same expected output let us try and submit this as well so our solution was able to pass all the test cases Thank you for watching this video.